Well, I'm not sure what this line is for. This huge, 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 huge line that I've never seen at Hershey before. But uh, I'm gonna assume it's not for the destination that I'm going to. Wow, look at all of the people. It looks like Hershey Park is getting ready to open. Probably at 11, I'm gonna assume. I've never seen so many people here before. Holy moly. Well, hello, Chocolatier. We meet again. All right, dessert time at the Chocolatier. All of the sweets are happening right now. This is literally the best thing to do on a 90 degree day here in Pennsylvania. Alrighty, so we are done now at the Chocolatier and I wanted to share my new friends here with you. We got Tim and Katie from Tim and Katie. <laughs> they have a YouTube channel as well, everybody. Do you wanna say like really quick, what, what's your channel all about? Sure. Like what can people find on your channel? Putting you right on the spot. I didn't give you any warning like it's you guys good. gave me, it's so. All good. We're, we're used to this. Um, so we do theme parks, resorts, haunts, and a little bit of nature hiking. We do kind awesome. of everything that we just enjoy doing, we just share. I love that. So that winds up being a lot of theme parks and a lot of haunts, but also okay. going places like the Disney resorts and Crystal Springs. Yeah. Awesome. Travel. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds quite similar to my channel. So make sure you all check them out. As always, I will put information down in the link before you down below there. So thank you all for inviting us to eat some food here at the Chocolatier. They're gonna hang out here at Hershey Park for a little bit longer. I'm also here with Chad and Vanessa from Two Tickets to Adventure. Woohoo! We, uh, we all ate some food here together, but we are actually gonna go on another adventure in just a second here. So, okay, just wanted to share <laughs> my friends here. All right, let's go. Thank you all. When I drove through here last time, it was a stunning drive. It still is very lovely, but it was October at the time, if I'm not mistaken. The leaves were orange and red and yellow. It was, this was just absolutely gorgeous. Canobles, hooray! Hey, car is parked. Looks like a decently, it's gonna be a decently busy bidet. But uh, it is Saturday. They're doing an Armed Forces Day today, and uh, it's quite warm out, so a lot of people are jonesing to get to the theme parks today. Hello everyone, welcome, and welcome back. As mentioned, I am here at Knobles, and uh, if you're familiar with the channel at all, you'll know that I have actually been here, been here before. I was here on the very last day that they were doing their spooky event, here last year in 2021. So I'm very excited to be back here on a, well I would normally say on a non-spooky day, but honestly, if they did a spooky event in the middle of May, that would be legit, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's just a normal day here at Knobles. I am so, so excited to be back here again. I'm excited to be here, to be able to use my new camera to uh, show this place off to you all. The last time I was here it was on my iPhone. And I will also be joined by Chad and Vanessa from Two Tickets to Adventure, which we were hanging out with this morning, along with Tim and Katie at the Chocolatier. And uh, now we're gonna be finishing off the day at Knobles. Now one of the really cool things about Knobles and one of the reasons why I love this place so much is because it is actually free. It is a free admission park. You don't have to pay anything to walk inside of these gates if they had gates. Walk inside the, on the property. Um, what you do have to pay for is for the rides. You have to pay for each of the rides individually or I'm sure you could do like a wristband sort of thing. Um, so for me as a person who isn't big into rides, doesn't do a lot of rides, but just likes to go to theme parks for the atmosphere of it all, this is the perfect place for me. And I remember loving it last time. It's a beautiful theme park. Can't wait to get back in there again and show it all off to you. So, okay, without further ado, let's meet up with Chad and Vanessa and let's go. Right off the bat, let me show you a map of what we're dealing with today. Knobles is a huge, huge theme park. Uh, let's see, where are we? 
where are we? I think we are somewhere in this area right now with all of the picnic pavilions here. You can, I guess, rent a pavilion, have a picnic. Definitely a good day for that today. So we have all of this up here to roam around today. As a way of saying thank you for serving our country, Ken Nobles invites members of the U.S. Armed Forces to enjoy a free ride pass. So very awesome. I know they do a bunch of stuff like this uh, throughout the season, so make sure you check out their website uh, for other other really awesome deals like this. The Skluge! I remember this guy. I started my last video right here, ever so slightly less busy. In fact, this whole area was pretty darn dead for an October. They weren't running this ride. It was too cold back then. It's definitely really warm today. Oh yeah, definitely a good day for a water ride today. Woo, skloosh! Wow, holy moly. Okay, they look slightly damp, that's for sure. There they go, up the ramp. I like the uh, mechanism that they have down here. I don't know if that makes it more awesome. Well, it definitely makes it more awesome, but it kind of makes it a little bit more scary too. Anyway, there they go. Today is the day to get wet. Today is definitely the day to get wet. It's uh, it's like in the 90s, folks. It is very warm today. So you'll find these ticket booths all around the park, and this is where you're gonna go to, to get your tickets for the ride. Each ride has a different amount of tickets, just like a fair. So I got $20 worth of tickets. I doubt I will use even half of that, but I figured better safe then sorry. Also met up with Chad and Vanessa again. Hooray! We met up, so okay. Let's continue onward. And the one good thing about the ticket books uh -huh. is, is there's no expiration, so you can bring them back year after year after year. Oh my goodness. Which I have some at home, but it's, uh, we have more at home, but yeah. uh, we seem to keep losing them. <laughs> <laughs> so we buy yeah. more, but at least we That's hope we fair. find them one day, we can bring them yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. That's amazing. I love, see yet another thing that I just love about Knobles, that is awesome. I will be hanging on to these babies for sure. You have a pool here. Last time I was here, it wasn't filled with anything and now it is filled with very tempting water. Unfortunately, it's not open. I think most parks around here, the consensus is their water park areas open around Memorial Day, which is next weekend. So we were close, but not close enough. Another really awesome part about Knobles that I love is that the campground is right the heck here on property. When I drove through there when I left the last time, it looked really beautiful, uh, really, really nice looking campground. And it's just really neat that you could park your camper here or tent camp or whatever and just walk right on in, right on into the theme park. <laughs> of the different kinds of music in this cabinet back here. That is awesome. Yeah. Just walking along the park, found that really cool organ back there. That's awesome. One of the, again, another things that I love about uh, Knobles, lots of really cute little random wacky things. You don't know what you're gonna see along the way as you uh, walk around. Like for example, this really creepy uh, clown here <laughs> that I wasn't expecting on the side of this wall. So that's exciting. Also this corn here, which I definitely remember from last time as well. He's got a little butter hat on the top of his head. He's holding the world in his hands. It's nice to see you again, Cornelius. We are in the mining district now. 
Last time I did not go inside of their mining museum. Today, we are very much hoping that it's air conditioned. So, let's see. Oh, hey there, Pappy. Good to see ya. It is in fact air conditioned in here, so we're gonna, we're gonna hang out in here for a, for a little bit. Which is perfect, because I, yeah, I haven't seen any of this before. So far, this is really cool. I like this mural with the, with the donkeys on there. This is creepy. All their uh, mining gear hanging up on hooks here. I guess that was, I guess that was a thing. I don't know why, but I guess it was a thing. This is really creepy too. It's a bunch of heads with the helmets. It's displaying, it's a whole display here on the helmets. Yeah, very creepy. Yes, it gets creepier and creepier. So this is awesome. I really like this, oh my gosh. Holy moly, I was not expecting a dinosaur in here. That is so cool. This is awesome. I can't believe I didn't go in here last time and I'm so happy I'm here now. I guess that makes sense. Coal is a fossil fuel, thanks to the dinosaurs. And now I have to rely on Knobles to teach us these things because Ellen's Energy Adventure isn't there at Disney anymore. Thanks, Knobles. This whole section in here is about mine accidents, mine rescues, things of the like. Very creepy. Of course, Pennsylvania, if you did not know, is uh, one of the things it's known for is, is their coal, is their mining. Lots of really uh, famous and horrible mining accidents have happened here in Pennsylvania. So it's kind of neat that they have a whole spot here sort of in homage to the, the miners. The miners of Pennsylvania. They also have a Knobles History Museum here. I really like this mural that you're greeted with. There's the entrance to the ride that they have here that is themed to mining. There's some bald eagles here, a child eating some ice cream, the log flume ride. There's the mascot for Knobles, of which I don't know his name. I'm sorry, but I don't. And uh, yeah, a bunch of other stuff. So okay, let's go learn about Knobles. Ask and you will receive the mascot, the official mascot for Knobles. His name is Cosmo. So there you go. I like Creeper, personally. That's more my jam. Apparently they had a bear show, a couple of bear shows here at one point. I'm not sure if they do anymore or not, but I'll have to find out, I guess. But they had a country bear jubilee. Sounds very familiar. And these mascot heads up here are pretty darn creepy as well. I said it once, I'll say it again. But you know these come alive at night. Wreak havoc on the guests, trying to seek shelter from the heat outside and the air conditioning. This one here is really creepy. Lots of fortune telling machines and other fun little things we've noticed. But this is probably the creepiest one that I've seen. Also legit because it has like the Zodiac stuff in here, but still pretty creepy. Just wish we could play them, that's, that's for sure. Even though we'd probably go underneath a, some kind of curse, but that's okay. I think it'd be worth it. That dinosaur is horrifying. Just absolutely horrifying. And I love it, it's my favorite thing that we've seen so far. By the way, Knobles does have a sensory friendly comfort room. So those who uh, just need a quiet place to sit, I'm assuming in the air conditioning where it's, it's yeah, nice and quiet away from all of the stimulation. Here you go, it's at the laser maze, which hopefully is not actually operating right now. Seeing as how it's a sensory friendly room, but uh, nonetheless, they have them here. Way to go, Knobles. All right, folks, we are at the Haunted Mansion. A terrifying adventure in darkness. I did not ride this the last time, which is honestly one of the biggest regrets I've had of the channel so far, but now it is time. The line isn't really even that long, so that's great. Looks like uh, just so you know, they uh, they may have strobe lighting in there, so if you're uh, susceptible to that, you may want to skip ahead through this part. 
but I'm so excited for this ride. Let's get in line. Ooh, spooky, here we go. Through the spooky switchbacks, ooh, spooky. There are the spooky ride vehicles there. So look at this, there's a story for the Haunted Mansion apparently. That's interesting, I definitely don't have enough time to read it all to you, but there you go, if you pause it, you can read it, find out what we're about to, about to get into. Ooh, in the spooky sign, have your tickets ready. No repent stamps or wristbands, ooh. Spooky, oh yeah, and no smoking either. Chad and Vanessa are popping into their doom buggy. Have a good time, hope you survive. There they go. This is definitely giving me Mr. Toad vibes. Okay, here we go. No idea what we're about to, well I have a nice slight idea what we're gonna go into, but uh, oh god, that was loud. We literally hit the door. We're gonna hit the door again? Yes we are, okay. A couple things have been missing, but that's been for a while. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, that was great. That was a lot scarier. Honestly, like I was kind of like, oh my gosh, like a lot of times. That was really good though. Really, really good. So that is a must, 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 must do if you go to Knobles. The Haunted Mansion is literally one of the like top five dark rides in yeah. the country, right? Yeah, so. Definitely do it if you get the chance. It's only three tickets and it is well worth it. It's gonna take some time for me to process what literally just happened to me. <laughs> that was awesome, okay. Onward. By the way, they have a spooky year-round dip in dots right outside of the Haunted Mansion and this is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. 
Oh my gosh, the little haunted house, the skeleton, the bats. This is adorable. Every single Dippin' Dots needs to get on this Dippin' Dots' level. We're at the potato barn right across the way, by the way. Just wanted to point out they have both sweet potatoes and savory potatoes here. That's pretty cool. Also some pork sandwiches, barbecue, nachos, and beverages. I'm just gonna get a water, but they also have iced coffee here, so just keep that in mind at the, the good old potato barn. And they got fresh red hot Texas style chili too, by the way. These uh, baked potato people, sure they make some good baked potatoes here, but a uh, really uh, warm piping hot potato doesn't sound very appetizing right now. That's just me though. It does look pretty good on the wall there, I'm not going to lie. Also, my water says Knobles and I'm so excited right now, yay! So this is pretty neat. It's an area that actually none of us have really seen before. But it's like a woodworking area. You can see the lamps up at the top are like wood saws. So that's really cool. There's like this fanciful wood carved bear up here with a really small head guarding this area. He's also got quite some... Uh, Quite some abs there, I might add. But uh, what we really wanted to check out was this really old trolley. I think dilapidated is the word. What's in there? Vanessa just pointed out this actually used to be a cottage. That's really, really cool. There's a sign in there that says so. That's awesome. I mean, I don't think I really want to stay in there right now. But at one point, that's really cool. Oh yeah, and look at the other side. It's got a nice little uh, little awning there. Very cool. Here goes the, the little train. It's called Old Smokey. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. What a cute train. What a great ride for the kiddos and the kiddos at heart. Folks, you're definitely going to want to keep out of this area. Because look what happened to Spongebob here. He looks like he lost his arm. I think he's put outside as an example of what would happen to you if you don't keep out of this area. Let Spongebob be a lesson to you kids. Oh my goodness, and right across the way, look at this adorable blue. It's blue from Blue's Clues. That is so cute. She's swinging on a swing. Oh, it makes me miss Bella so much. I miss you, Bella. I miss you, Jay, so much. Wish you were here. I love you. Lots of really beautiful water features in this park from what I remember. Here's one of them. The streams just naturally kind of go through this area. We are in the middle of like a mountain. It, this is one of the most beautiful parks I have ever seen. Right up there with Dollywood for me. Not as good as Dollywood, but pretty close because it just uses the natural scenery that it has to enhance the beauty of the park. It's really good to be here again. There's Chad doing his thing. Yeah, this whole area back here, definitely lots of uh, kitty rides, classic circle rides, things like that. So many awesome things for uh, for the youth. There was also a bunch of ticket booths all around the park, so if you need more tickets, you don't have to go to the front of the park. It is very, very lovely here. We are just commenting that the it feels a little bit less warm as well, so yeah, we're just kind of walking around, enjoying Knobles. I think we are all in consensus that this ride's going to be a big old nope for all of us. Looks like it's slowing down for a landing. Oh my gosh. That is horrific. Oh, it's gonna go backwards. Oh my gosh. Nope. Oh, I see a Bella. I see a Bella puppy over there. Oh, Bella. There's Bella, by the way. One of the many awesome things about Knobles, it is a dog. A doggo-friendly park. You can bring your puppies here. Looky that, we found the loaf building. Hello, loaf building. It's good to see you again. Still say you should be selling bread, but I'm pretty sure you're still selling Dole Whips. Doesn't make any sense to me. Also, more puppies, more puppies. Oh no, the Skyway is out of service. Aw, oh, what a shame. Oh well, guess we can't do that today. 
check out this ride though, right next to the Skyway. Pretty bananas. You love coasters though, I bet it's really fun. And uh, also you go up on that lift hill at a like 90 degree angle, so that's terrifying. Yeah, very cool. Do you all like that ride? Do you ride that ride at all, yeah, ever? it's pretty good. It's pretty good? Yeah. It looks really smooth. <laughs> it is. Yeah, okay. And horrifying, I might add. <laughs> it looks very, very scary. By the way, apparently they do spaghetti nights here. That sounds actually really, really good. Returns June 8th. So if you're a fan of spaghetti, why not come to Knobles? They're playing party in the USA, woo! No shame, I love that song, I don't even care. I do love that they have some elements in the park that are just simply always spooky themed, like this uh, Creeper's Pumpkin Patch here, it's so adorable. Little uh, game here that you can play, win some prizes. Alrighty, Chad and Vanessa are gonna do the Phoenix, good luck, Godspeed. I am not going to do the Phoenix, I do not do roller coasters, so they're gonna check this one out. They're gonna check that one out and have a great time. I just know it. Nobles is also in the classic car game, folks. These are some of the coolest classic cars I have seen, as you know. We do a lot of these on the channel, actually. I'm not sure if this will happen today. At some point, I do want to do these. You go like through the roller coaster here and through like the countryside and whatnot. Ooh, smell the gasoline. Ah. Smells like, uh, smells like I'm gonna he get a headache in just a second here. But anyway, um, I will do these at some point, probably not today. Honestly, I would much rather do these during the fall season. And I'm gonna tell you why in just a sec. Hey there, Santa, good to see you again. Oh yeah, Santa's here too as well. Year round, I may add. Looks like he's uh, already preparing his elves and his reindeer. Oh my gosh, there's a cat in that friggin' window. <gasps> oh my gosh. Zoomed in as much as I can. There is a big, fluffy, gingy cat sleeping in, in Santa's reindeer spot. Do you think he's going to help Santa, pull Santa's sleigh here? Oh my gosh. Here we go, folks. One of the creepiest parts of the whole park, in my opinion. Uh, oh, he's pointing towards me. That's not cool. That's not cool. He hurt me. Anyway. Uh, yeah, lots of creepy animatronics in here. Absolutely horrifying. Found a, another kind of quiet spot of the park. I think I remember, yeah, I remember walking along over there the last time that I was here and really just being very amazed with how beautiful this park is. So kind of like what I was saying earlier over by the cars and when I was saying to Chad and Vanessa earlier as well, although that wasn't on camera, but the point is um, I went to Dutch Wonderland last weekend, if you recall that, if you've seen that. Um, and the last time that I went to Dutch Wonderland prior to that, it was for their winter uh, lights festival thing. So it was really, really cool to see the park normal and not like holiday based. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, Knobles is kind of the same thing. Uh, I have been here before. I can't remember if I articulated that like, uh, like thoroughly or not. But the last time I was here was for their spooky event. And um, so it's kind of the same thing. Like I'm used to seeing this park uh, for the holidays and now I am seeing it as a normal park and I kind of have to say the opposite I really really loved their spooky event here all of the decorations that they had here it was really amazing I loved it it really added 
to the atmosphere here. Now it's still a lovely park. I'm still having a great time. It is very, very warm, but otherwise it's been fantastic. But um, next time I come here, I think I'm really gonna just make it a make it a spooky thing. Come here for their spooky event. How many times can I say spooky in one video? Quite a lot, apparently. But um, anyway, just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Fun little tidbit for you where my mind was at the moment with everything. This really pretty building here is the old mill and it serves ice cream apparently. Nice snack for a hot day like today. But I just wanted to show you the mill mechanisms here. The sign says it's a water powered sawmill. It's a replica of one. So that's really cool. It's even turning the uh, the ceiling of the seating area here. Neat. And of course I can't go to Knobles without saying hello to my pals over here. Look at this little fox and this caterpillar and the, the flowers over here. And my gingerbread pals. Hey guys. Oh, hey everybody. All my gingerbread pals. Back together again with the gang. Squad goals, as the as the kids these days say. Good to see him. Oh, it hurts. It's so bright today. We are going to check out now the Carousel Museum. This is so cool. I don't even know that. I don't think I even knew that this existed when I was here last. So I'm I'm very excited to see this. I already see a bunch of adorable little horsies in the in the window here. Hard to see with the glare. Let's go in. Yeah, look at all the horsies that you can buy. This is already really, really cute. Wow. This is something else. They're definitely delivering on the, on the carousel stuff. So these are all a bunch of different kinds of, well, well, yeah, menagerie, menagerie of figures. That's what the sign says up there. It's trying to find the right words because they're not all necessarily horses. Like that one's a chicken. This one's a reindeer. There's a giraffe, a zebra. Oh, you can even ride a, ride a Labrador. Very cool, I like these. But of course they have your classic ones in here as well. They're also piping in carousel music and it's really doing it for me. Also, they're piping in that cold air, which is really doing it for me. I am sweating like crazy. Not that anybody needs to know that. Anyway, look at all these horses. Ooh, I like the clowns back there. That's neat. The seal has a, has a mirrored ball, a disco ball on it. Cool. Vanessa was just pointing out that you can, you can always find Mickey somewhere, generally found him here, right in the carousel. Also, there's Snoopy. Oh, Bill, I've seen you everywhere today. Black Diamond is next this is a really cool really iconic roller coaster ish thing here it's not like a full-on roller coaster there's really cool animatronics and stuff like that in there but it's still a little bit too fast for myself so chad and vanessa are gonna go check it out it's not too much of a long line so i'm just gonna take a look up here really quick they look so cool you can see the ride vehicles they'll be popping out in a sec. Here it comes. There goes the mine train. That's so cool. I love looking at, at ride vehicles. Awesome. It's a close up of the little train right here. So this is the vehicle that you that you sit in. Awesome. We have another log flume right here by the way. Doesn't look as well themed as the skloosh, I'm not going to lie, but it is definitely a lot longer of a ride. It also feels amazing standing here by this running water and uh, it's uh, shaded, that's the word, 
Really having a hard time finding words today, but it's shaded over here. It feels really good. I might, uh, I might sit here for a little while. Okay, so Chad and Vanessa just came off of the uh, Black Diamond Mine ride, and they were just trying to explain it to me because it's like right on the edge of me thinking, like, can I do it? Can I not do it? So it's technically an indoor. I guess technically it ha it's considered a coaster because yeah. you do free, free drop. Uh -huh. um, but if you it doesn't spin, it moves really slow through, kind of like yeah. an omni mover type of ride. Yeah. Um, and then a couple little hmm. hills. That's it. Okay. I might try it next time. I really might because I think I could. I think I could do it. But you enjoyed it, right? You had yeah, a good time. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Drive. One of good. My good. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit too hot today for a coffee, even an iced one for me. So we're gonna go with this Gatorade here. Uh, I decided to replenish my electrolytes. I thought that might be a good idea. But anyway, this uh, this video's coffee or Gatorade. Uh, in this instance is uh, sponsored by Anthony. Thank you so much Anthony. Really appreciate your support as always And um, I also wanted to say welcome aboard to new coffee buddies. I have uh, Moira and William are super coffee buddies. So thank you both so much. Welcome to the team. Welcome aboard I appreciate everyone's support as always. It really helps with the channel and to be able to, uh, to do things like this So cheers. Thank you for the coffee or the the Gatorade. I went with the blue one. I'm a blue Gatorade person. Right next to the carousel shop is a shirt shop. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay, we're gonna go inside. See what shirts they have. That's a cool one. Very simple. I do like the tie-dye. I am a fan of the tie-dye. Oh man. This is this is probably gonna be it. Yeah, this is I think this is gonna be it. Yeah. Oh wow, it's funky. I wish it wasn't long sleeved. Oh this one's a short sleeve. Hmm. Alright, Chad was able to find a short sleeved version of the shirt and it's even in a pink tie-dye. This is amazing. This is the best shirt I've ever seen. And we literally just came in here. I haven't looked at too much and that's it. I mean this is it. This is the shirt. Nothing's ever gonna top this, so I'm gonna buy it. their main carousel their grand carousel and what's really cool about this one is they do the ring thing here so they put the rings inside of that mechanism there and as you the carousel goes around you try to try to catch the rings and try to toss them into that lion's mouth over there very cool not a lot of uh, carousels do that anymore as you can imagine for safety reasons yeah, I remember seeing this carousel. This is one of the first things that I saw when I was here at Knobles the first time. And I was just like, wow, this is amazing. And it was playing the Batman theme song. It was playing the Alfred Hitchcock theme song. And it was amazing. This is good too, but man, really miss the spooky season. <laughs> swan action over here and a duck swimming upstream oh look it's got a pal over there look at the swans go you'd have an easier time if you went the other way I swear they go still going still struggling upstream oh you're so cute they're so pretty I think with all of that I'm done here at Knobles. We walked around, pretty much saw everything. Definitely did all the things that I wanted to do. And now it's time to head out. All right, every. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the train. The tiny, really? <laughs> really? Teeniest tutu. The, the smallest, <laughs> most adorable little. I always get interrupted by trains. Anyway, <laughs> the point is, we're heading out now. This is a really, really fun day here at Knobles. 
very warm <laughs> uh, very very warm but other than that we had a really good time did you all have a good time oh, wonderful time, time. Yep. yeah it was great yeah i'm really glad that we were able to do this all together yes. yeah we've been planning this for a uh, for a few months a few now months. so <laughs> Uh, it would have been nice if the weather would have cooperated, but that's okay. We still had a really, really good time. Yeah. And um, I'm looking forward to coming back for the spooky season. I know you all are yeah, looking yeah, forward to it yeah. as well. So keep an eye out for those videos, especially if you enjoy Knobles. And um, as always, make sure you check out Chad and Vanessa's YouTube channel, Two Tickets to Adventure. I will always put the link down here below for you so you can check them out they are roller coaster enthusiasts they are foodies they do all kinds of stuff on their channel there goes the train <laughs> anyway um and also don't forget to check out um tim and katie as well that we were hanging out with them earlier today uh, make sure you check out their channel i'll put their info down below there for you too really awesome people had a really good time so uh thank you all so much for watching we really, really, really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's it. <laughs> that's it. So okay, what what you guys always say? Well, what is it again? Be safe. Be, be kind, kind. And adventure. And adventure on. on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just say bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I like that better. Okay. Bye bye everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Look at the puppies. Look at the puppies. Oh my gosh, this is the best park ever. All the puppy watching. Oh, they're so happy. They're so happy. They're at the park and they're puppies and they're having the best time. Okay, I don't need a dog. I don't need a dog. I don't need a dog. Hi, Skloosh. Good to see you again. Especially you, buddy. Stand strong and stand firm in front of your ride. You are not the first to pass this way. Kept forgetting to mention this all day. But uh, the first video I ever did was at Hershey Gardens. The second video I ever did, or published on YouTube, I should say, was uh, The Chocolatier, which is easily my least favorite video that I have ever done. Uh, the third video I've ever published for YouTube was Knobles, if you can believe it. So kind of neat today to start off at the Chocolatier and here at Knobles. Did Hershey Gardens earlier and yeah, it's really neat to redo these videos. Not redo them, but just revisit them with my camera and a little bit of experience under my belt. So I hope that you have enjoyed these videos, everyone. It means a lot to me that you watch. And it um, means a lot to me to be here again. Oh, it's nice and quiet out here. And it's nice to be leaving when it's still daylight out as well. Last time it was very dark and driving along these mountain roads at the dark when you don't know, in the dark, when you don't know where you're going. He's uh, a little nerve-wracking for me. Anyway, very long outro to say thank you all for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. I have big plans for tomorrow. Tomorrow is a project that I have been working on for a while, doing a lot of research on, and uh, have been setting up in my head for a really long time. So, very excited about it. And I hope that you all really enjoy it. So, anyway, thank you all again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. By the way, even in the daytime, the spookiest part is still trying to find your car in the parking lot. Although this time, I actually paid attention. So, not as scary. But still, you can see how it could be a little nerve-wracking. Also, look how pretty it is. The sun is setting. Okay. Bye-bye for real. It's enough shots of a parking lot.